Hey YouTube, uh, Tan Brolu here once again. Uh, I really only plan on making one video, which got a little long, turned into two videos. I got a few uh, questions, so I'm going to roll this into three videos. Um, some people have asked me what the plastic looks like, because I mentioned that I cut the plastic in the back. Um, I thought I was going to maybe put some grills on there, but I ended up just uh, doing some Dremel work on it. And this is what the back looks like. Um, if you're really, really, you know, aesthetic, that's probably not the cleanest sort of thing, but um, I just wanted to increase the airflow. And I also kept a little bit of a tab on each just to sort of decrease the risk of, uh, I don't know, a uh, small child sticking a finger in there, which is pretty unlikely because I, I keep my uh, Xbox tucked behind my TV. It's, it's really out of the way. Um, a user also commented that if you're running an intercooler, it doesn't matter anyway because the intercooler is going to cover this completely. So your 360 still looks completely stock, like there's no cutting that's been done. So that's what I did. Again, it's not the cleanest, uh, greatest thing you could possibly do, but it meets my needs, and uh, and I'm I'm pleased with that. Um, I also wanted to quickly say I forgot to mention this in the last video that something else that I do to control that the heat problem is um, use the, the the new console feature of writing drives to the hard drive rather than play from the DVD ROM. And uh, I find that that helps quite a bit at uh, keeping the system cooled down. Um, it, it really depends on how you play. If you're chucking like a few games in there every day and you're constantly swapping them, it's probably not the best thing. But um, the way I play is usually I'll just play one game and one game only for days and days and days. So uh, it, it's really easy and convenient to just write it to the drive once and uh, never have to use the DVD ROM again. So that's it. Um, one other quick thing I thought of actually because I've gotten some questions about the power usage, is uh, I, I have a power pack here, and I plugged the Xbox into it, and this tells me wattage, so I can run it at uh, the different fan speeds, and uh, this will tell me how many watts I'm actually using. So I'm going to plug this back in and uh, just quickly show you how much power I'm actually using with the 12 volt mod and the uh, XEM fan that I installed. So I'm going to pause it, set it up, and uh, we'll go, about, go right back. Okay, we're back. I got the Xbox uh, plugged back in. It's running into this uh, power supply. Um, also, I just mentioned, I, I use two rolls of electrical tape, which are a really good height just to barely lift the top so that uh, the top isn't, uh, sorry, that the bottom isn't uh, touching um, the, the, the table here. It's slightly off, and that also helps the airflow. Um, I can feel air getting sucked in. So anyway, here we go. I'm going to turn this thing on. It's this one. And it's going to show me, uh, that's the charge, so the battery's got 70% charge. Power used is zero. So now I'm going to turn on my Xbox. There it goes. And now it says power 130. So with the fans on at 120 volt right now, oh sorry, 120 volt, 12 volt. Oh, there you go, 160, 170. Hit this again. So already my pow my battery power pack is low. Uh, that says 150, 160. So let me see one more time what it says. Uh, 150. So it, it's in the ballpark range of 150, 160 with the extra fans. So I expected it was actually going to be a little higher. 150, 160. So now I'm just going to, because right now I'm running at 12 volt. I'm going to step this down to 9. Now it's at 9. Running the fans at 9 volt. P150. It's probably going to stay at 150. There's not a huge difference in uh, total power draw. So that's all. I just wanted to show you. So when I run at 9 volt, all three fans, I'm in the ballpark range of, of one, 150 watts. And at 100, and, I'm sorry. Why do I keep saying 120? And at 12 volt, all three fans, uh, it's ballpark 160. So just letting you know, um, seems that the power draw is just fine with all these extra fans. Um, you don't have to worry about killing your power supply, which is this big gray clunker thing, like so many of you have. Uh, it'll do a fine job running those fans. That's all. Uh, all the best. Cheers.